Hi, happy Saturday. I'm just going to have to have a little run and just express how I've been feeling. Because I've been around Mardi Arse for like a week now. Oh, and I've been anxious and sad and... You know, it's funny because like I don't... Um, Sometimes I think, is it hormones? You know, is this a normal thing? And then I'm like, oh, I don't know, you know. I've never bought into that really. I'm sure there's something in it, but I always thought, you know, PMS or anything like that. I thought it was, you know, a bit of an excuse to uh, pass off your shitty behaviours. Um, but you know, I'm sure there's something to it. I've just never really felt the, I've never noticed the pattern of that type of behaviour from me. It can be at any time of the month when I'm a dickhead. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know, I've just been feeling a bit victim-y. And um, I've just, you know, the kids have just gone out for a bit and um, and already I feel better. <laughs> and then that makes me feel bad. Because um, I just find this stage in my life when, you know, it's like the kids are so small and it's difficult, you know, it's, it's difficult constantly. You know, I feel a bit like a victim sometimes, like, Ew. and it's my fault, you know, for having kids. And it's just one of those things. But, you know, my little, my little, in a child is always like, well, what about me? What about me? Where's my free time? And it's like, you know, this will come to me as they get older. It's just, uh, it's an all encompassing time and age and it's difficult. And sometimes I think, you know, I've got, I've got so many ideas of what, you know, parents should do and should be and I try and embody it. But, you know, sometimes I'm a, I'm a Mardi arse and um, more internally than externally. What I mean is I'm sat with feelings of unease or anxiety or just not happiness. I'm ne I never seem to be, you know, um, happy for very long periods of time. And I think this has been like a lifelong thing. This is not necessarily a side effect of, you know, like um, an awakening, but it's definitely something that I think you feel more profoundly once awakening is, you know, these, these dark parts of yourself, these uncomfortable feelings and what do they, what are they, what do they mean, you know, I was sat down thinking, I love this song, this makes me like, anyway, I was trying to think, what what is it? Why am I so still, just not permanently at ease? And it's like, you know, it's a few things, like a few very sort of basic things that I know better than to let me get sort of properly down about, which are the surface, but, you know, when you sit and ponder more, you come across the the parts of yourself that you don't really like. So I won't bore you with the externals, you know, it's like not much time to myself, money's shit and I owe a bit of money, some crap's happened with um, something and I owe a little bit of money so I feel a bit like, oh, you know, because I've been doing really well since I got here um, and being very adult and responsible. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've been a bit... Um, Lacks like over Christmas, I've spent too much, I've spoiled the kids a little bit, which you know, I don't I don't think that's a good thing to do. Don't spoil your kids, you know, and that's what you should not do. You should not spoil your kids, and I've been spoiling my kids over Christmas and after Christmas, and you know, with fucking shit that they don't even, they don't even need, you know, just little treats and toys and things, and oh, and then you know, I know. Because, you know, I know that these things, they don't mean anything and, you know, it's much better to live life without these material things everywhere. So, you know, I'm contributing to the fucking state of the world occasionally. But I'm aware of it and so that makes me feel bad. So I think, you know, the, the thing is that after you've had some sort of shift in consciousness, 
you're extra hard on yourself, so you're prone to, you know, feeling depressed or down more or anxious or just unhappy. And it's like we're taught, we're taught as a society to just keep your fucking self to yourself, aren't you? And not share your feelings, but... I just want to talk honestly sometimes because, you know, just because I've got a channel on YouTube and, you know, I've, I've tried, I've said some things that, you know, I've said everything that I felt at the time, but it's like sometimes I'm feeling shit and I'm not feeling high vibrational at all, you know, and I'm like having this, you know, these dirty fucking feelings inside. So one of them was... I had a little bit of a projection last night, the next door neighbours again. Um, and again, I'm not going to go into it. I've been justifying it to myself. I was a bit of a dick. Um, but then, you know, I've got that voice going, no, you weren't, not unnecessarily, but I was. This is why I felt bad afterwards. Uh, uh, you know, a little bit of a dick. Um, although I said what I wanted to say, you know, and this seems to what happened, what, what, happens to me and what my programming is is that I like I get into this people pleasing mode where you know I'm just like being a bit of a martyr and you know doing shit for everybody else um, and being fine with it but then at some point not being fine with it and instead of stopping that behaviour of myself you know allowing whatever I don't like I let it carry on and then it gets to the point where I'm internally wanting to blow then and you know, sometimes it does out of my mouth, and so it's difficult because I've spent over the summer long periods of time, weeks, I'm talking weeks, which is the best for me in my whole life, weeks where I felt really content and peaceful and happy, and um, this last sort of two months have just been dog shit for me, like... And I think, what is it? You know, I've not been eating brilliantly, so that's contributing. Um, I've probably not been out enough or socialised or tried to socialise. And then this gets on my nerves because it's like, I'm lonely, right? I'm lonely, but I'm all right on my own. So it's, it's weird trying to understand what this loneliness is, you know, is it like a bit of like, is it the remnants of codependency or is it just that actually humans need social interactions? Because it's like, I've just, I've got no desire sometimes to just sort of like bullshit. Like I used to call it woofing, but it's like, I guess I've spent my whole life bullshitting and just, you know, making people happy and just you know, smoothing shit over, that I've just got to this point now where I just can't be arsed with it, you know? So, I don't want to put myself in these positions, and so I think that's why you find yourself, you know, drifting away steadily from everyone, because you've just got different interests, and, you know, I just don't want to be who I was, which was a people-pleasing prick. <laughs> It's like I'm laughing now because it's like, as mardy as I feel and as miserable at the minute, it's that I can feel that part of my inner child, you know, my little soul going, ha, <laughs> you know, a bit of a, like Joker, like, it's like, yeah, why aren't we allowed to be fucking mardy or sad or miserable? Everybody's fucking hippie do all the time, aren't they? It's like, no, we're not. So, you know, it's... It's better for everybody if everybody starts, you know, just uh, cutting the shit out and uh, just trying to be as authentic as possible. And for me, you know, not just to upload videos when I'm feeling fucking, you know, high vibrational and I've got some words of wisdom to say, you know, it's like it's just as important, if not more, for me to just be authentic and if I'm feeling shit, shit, you know, I can be rancid sometimes, you know, I like to joke, I like to, I've got a horrible sense of humour and I like to talk about shit like that, I don't just like, what, you know, laughing to myself about my little shit, you know, I want to be able to say it, but then you've got a YouTube channel and I guess it's like, it's, it's not, I don't even know, I don't think I'm part of any community, but 
I don't want to be part of a community where I can't say what I want because, you know, it's like, that's the horrible thing, you know, about YouTube. It's like, anybody can listen to you and, you know, be nasty. It's like, fuck off, you know? Fuck off. I just want to be able to express myself and since I awakened and I started doing videos, I noticed that my throat chakra was like clearing and I was like, oh, you know, I found this newfound me and this sovereign me and I just wanted to share what I felt like I knew. Um, in terms of, you know, it's I guess it's the same shit that everyone talks about, but I wanted to try and express it in my way on my journey. like. What happened to me? What's happening to me? What kinds of things I'm addressing? And, you know, it's fucking difficult. But, um, it's like, what should I write down here? Yeah, it's like I just sort of, I was thinking about how, you know, it's like when you start understanding these higher states of consciousness and, how you can connect to your heart and to connect to higher realms and, you know, source if you're lucky. And it's... Sorry, I've just seen this person from the hairdresser. Took the kids to the hairdressers earlier. It was lovely. Um, I was very proud of them. Um, I didn't take myself there. My fucking hair's grey and horrible. I'm going to have to sort something out of my hair because I'm sick of wearing this fucking condom on my head. I look ill. And I'm not. Oh, God. Obviously, a lot to say. I was thinking about how bad the world is as a whole. You know, the fact that we kill each other and we start wars and, you know, just just on a very basic, low-level type twatty behaviour as a collective. Just the way we interact with each other as people on a daily basis. And, like... I try and I'd say that 85% of the time I am pretty high vibrational and I'm pretty fucking proud of myself for how I keep my shit together and what I project um, and just how I'm dealing with my kids and stuff and being a mum and being on my own, you know, I'm, I'm patting myself on the back a lot but there's still 15% of the time, it may, it may even be more, you know, where I'm... Uh, very aware of how how even 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 I, you know, who like knows better, who thinks I know better, talks about knowing better, you know, I can be um a mardias, a complete mardias, and I find it hard to keep a consistent sort of state. You know, sometimes I'm like and you know, again this is normal, but for me I'm trying to attain some sort of balance, consistency. And I think people don't like to talk about this shit because you get labelled, don't you? You know, like, I don't know, general anxiety disorder or bipolar or any of these other bloody labels that are given to people that are trying to explain how their insides are working, um, feeling anyway. And, you know, to me, it's all just bollocks. It's all just bollocks. I've got a bit of time on my own now and because I've spent the last few days wallowing in victimhood and trying to understand what it is that I'm doing that's making me feel bad um, because, you know, like I've said before, in a very profound but real way, we are creating everything ourselves. And I sort of noticed this pattern of myself where um, I kind of, it's like I've got this part of me that wants to show people um, how they hurt people and it's like it, I think it stems from my mum and dad like arguing and fighting when I was a kid and stuff and I used to um, I had this bedroom upstairs like a chandelier a bit like that actually downstairs and when I could hear him arguing downstairs I used to stamp on the bedroom ceiling boom boom and I could hear the chandeliers going downstairs and you know that was my sort of like attempt to show, you know, to show them that what they were doing, you know, was fucking crazy, you know, I can be crazier, it's almost like that, 
there's this um, part of myself which I'm very aware of, which is very much a mirror. And so, you know, I like, I'll take so much, whatever it is, and again, whether I'm contributing to it myself or not, I take so much. And then at some point, I've got to turn it round and show them, you know? So, you know, I can be very childish sometimes in terms of um, feeling like a victim, I think, you know, and just, you know, silent treatment. I'm, I'm a good one for silent treatment and things like that, or quite often, you know, I'll just tell someone what I think and it'll be a well thought out thing, but it, I'm saying someone, you know, these are people that I know. But, um, if I say exactly what I think is going on in the situation, um, it's not often received well because, you know, it's not often recognised by the part you're addressing anyway, so... Um, but that dicky part of me, you know, there's this fucking part of me that just, you know, um, projects back and acts just as fucking stupid as anybody else does. But I was just thinking to myself, you know, just don't be a fucking Mardi victim anymore. Um, and this little chat out loud, I've already feel better and I'm laughing. This has loosened up a bit. But, you know, it's just like the, the idea that sort of floats around that, you know, New Earth and all this. And to me, it's like... What did I write here? It's like after awakening, you, you just have test after test after test, like, or I am anyway. And it's to test like how your new self is gonna fit in with the old world, you know? It's still the old world, it's not a new world. Like you can feel like it is within your being and that's great and you can emanate amazing vibrations and frequencies and you can alter reality, your own reality. It's, it's the way to be. But the reality is that the world that we live in is not like that. Like I said, you know, the, the, the wars, the division, the separation, just the, the, oh, it's just, you know, it's a difficult world to fit into when you are expecting, you know, everybody else to be as uh, aware of their own energy and vibration as um, we're all trying to be, you know, I guess. But, what did I write? I put the work is to change how you or I react to this state of the world. Um, and I wrote down there's lots of work until joint awareness is one, you know. I just think, you know, it's a bit... I like the idea of people, you know, setting up communities together and things like that, but I, I sometimes I expect a change in the world overnight just because I'm feeling different, Ooh, you know. And uh, it doesn't always work like that. So the acute awareness of your own inner feelings, be it good or bad, you're just acutely aware of how you feel once you awaken. And you're trying to shift these denser, um, crap feelings that you've sat with all your life because you know better and you know you can attain more. And so it's like, I don't know if it's a bit of a false sort of trick, you know, sometimes to expect that you're going to attain some sort of permanent, blissful um, living or 5D awareness. It's like, I think you're, you're always in that 4 or 5D awareness, but the problem is that the rest of the world isn't, and that's where, you know, the balancing act is because um, you can be in 5D awareness and uh, feeling like shit <laughs> sometimes when I'm feeling really shit is when I'm more aware of things that are not of a you know a frequency that we're used to um, but yeah it's just like I think fear fear is the biggest teacher and I think that's why you know this being a, a person, being a human. It's difficult, we're just trying to. <laughs> it's fucking difficult, isn't it? 
So I was just, in my head then I remembered that, you know, person means mask. I can't remember where I heard that the other day. I've heard it before, obviously, persona. And it's just like, I'm trying to make my inside fit with a mask that is not suffering, you know, and it's just, you know, content. And, uh, and again, I'm way better than I used to be, but I'm acutely aware of these na na niggles, naggles. I've been a fucking mardi ass for a week. Uh, and it's like, you know, to someone it'd be like, oh, wait, you could bring some puppies and kittens in and that would cheer you up. It wouldn't fucking cheer me up. Like, I love, it, it probably would after a bit, but you know, sometimes when I'm that low, it's like, I'd just be like, I'd be like, oh, and I'd be crying, looking at the cats and the dogs and, oh, you're so beautiful. Why am I feeling so shit? It wouldn't be like that the, the, the thought and the, you know, it would make me necessarily feel better. Oh, it's like, I like dan dancing makes me feel better and singing does and um, laughing and having little jokes but I'm acutely aware of um, nobody to fucking talk to or joke with as well so boo flipping who anyway but god I've had a right victim mentality my whole life and sometimes I think and rightly so you know justifiably but it's like whether that's true or not He's got it. We've, you know, passed the judgment. I've addressed this shit before. It's creeping back in, and I'm like, no, go away. Horrible sort of internal thoughts. Um, yeah, this this part of me that wants to show people how they've hurt me, and you know, pull them up on anything. It's like, fucking hell. I gotta leave it, you know. Not contribute to things sometimes. It's like everybody's their own fucking awareness and you know anywhere anything else I wanted to write <sighs> no but I'm just being honest here if anyone's managed to listen to the end of this shit I'm still not making my videos better yet because the God's honest truth is I've got no time and like I could make it but I'd be suffering because of it I'd be tired like the kids don't sleep well I don't sleep well and it's full on days and I go to bed you know and uh, but when I've got a little bit more time I'm gonna I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try and do some better videos but again I don't want it to take away from any kind of authenticity because I don't know anything, it's like, I felt a bit arse twitchy about that last video about rhesus negatives, because as soon as you put rhesus negative in a title, it seems that it gets more views, and it's like, I don't want to be judged, I was just, you know, I'm just saying what I want in the moment, when I want, without preparing and without whatever, you know, I'm a dickhead sometimes, I don't know anything, I don't know anything, all I know is what's within me and, you know, what what is my truth and, uh, you know, maybe there's a universal one but we all have individual ones and so it's just, you know, the, the fact that yeah, it doesn't matter, I'm not trying to be right about anything, I'm just trying to talk with freedom and this is the best platform for me because I don't use Facebook, I don't like Facebook and I don't use anything else and so, you know, I can get my shit out there, it's just I don't like feeling like I've got to be a certain way to please a certain community, whether that's rhesus negatives or spiritual community or whatever, you know, I'm not trying to appeal to anyone really I'm just trying to be honest so but I don't like it when you know you get a bit of trolling or thumbs down and shit like that I think oh piss off you know fuck off because <laughs> I've never done that genuinely if, if I've not liked a video there's no way I'd put a thumbs down and some nasty comments like fuck off you bastards but anyway bit of verbal diarrhea that was 25 minutes of verbal diarrhea Oof, I'm going to go now, but I feel better, so well done, mate.